All right. I think this is, correct me if I'm wrong, 2 cosine squared x plus sine x yes. plus 1 yes. equals 0. Okay, so you're going to do most of the legwork on this, and you're going to brainstorm strategies, and I'm just going to kind of guide you through the process. Right now we have this written in terms of cosine and sine. But you have a whole host of identities at your disposal to rewrite this in terms of one of them. So what I want you to do in your group right now is talk to your team. Do you want to rewrite this in terms of sine or cosine? And if you do that, which identity are you going to use to do that? Take a minute or two to do that. I'm going to stop you guys there. Raise your hand. Let's vote. Who wants to rewrite in terms of cosine? Who wants to rewrite in terms of sine? All right. Uh, Mario, let me put you on the spot. What, what can you use to rewrite in terms of sine here? Which identity? Um, is it like cos squared x plus sine squared x equals 1? Mm -hmm. And what I, what's that identity called? Pythagorean. So um, I'll write it down with you guys. Some of you have written it down. Some of you probably just did this in your head. Here's your Pythagorean identity. Um, how can I rewrite this in terms of sine? What do I move? Move your cosine. Actually, move your sine. Minus sine squared x. So this cancels. And some of this, for, for some of you, this is becoming automatic. You're just seeing it. So if these are equal, what can I replace cosine squared of x with? 1 minus sine, which a lot of you ended up doing. Now, here's kind of the other question to this. Why could I not rewrite in terms of sine? Or in terms of cosine, excuse me. Why can't I replace this using the Pythagorean identity? Why is that squared so important? Well, remember when we derived this? This was derived by a triangle, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. There's no identity for sine x, right? So this is the only move we can do. All right, what's the next move? Distribute the 2. Moy, question. Oh, yeah, distribute the 2. Go ahead and distribute the 2. Okay, I'm here. What are my like terms? What can I combine? Two and one. Two and one. I'm going to kind of work through this with you. This is just basic algebra. Combining like terms. Sine of x plus three mm -hmm. equals zero. Okay, good. Now, um, this should look vaguely familiar to some of you. Because Frank did a really good job at teaching this. This looks like a quadratic, right? So if we're going to be working with a quadratic... We need to set it equal to zero because then we can solve. But before we do that, I don't like this negative here, so take care of the negative. Yeah, you can multiply or divide by a negative one, either way. So then our a is positive now. Your ax squared plus bx plus c, if you think of it that way. Oops, let me go back. All right, now this look, should look very familiar. This is algebra 2 married with trig. What's the only difference? Sine. Sign. So we introduced this two weeks ago. We did it again last class. We're going to use u substitution. What do you think you're going to make u equal to? What's in common? Well, u is going to replace sine of x. Because that's what's in common between both of them. Yeah, this is that whole U substitution. So wherever you see sine of X, write U in. Um, we're going to use U here because it's going to make it easier for us to work with. So wherever you see sine of X, we're just using the letter U. It'll be u squared minus u. Because that's essentially what it is. It's the same term, it's just being squared, right? If you see it, sine of x is just being replaced by u. Now are we in algebra 2? 
Yeah, except in algebra 2, you didn't have u, you just had x, right? But we don't want to use x because x is already here. So this is where u substitution comes in handy. You know some different methods to uh, solve. What are some different methods to solve a quadratic? Factoring. Factoring. What else? Factoring. Quadratic formula. What are you going to try to use first? Factoring. Factor. Try to factor. This is factorable. Okay, so there's, um, time, by the time you get in pre-calc, and if, when you go into condos class next year, and I know we haven't done much lately with factoring, it's like, we don't teach this. It's like, you should know how to factor. So it's like, hands off, go, okay? Um, you, some of you use the X. Some of you use the box. There's different methods. But hopefully by this point in time, you're able to do some of this in your head. Two times one is two, right? And there's only one way to make three. 3 and 1, and you just got to figure out what the negative and positive goes on. So I'm not going to go over this now. You'll get more practice with this. Um, I introduced this to you guys. Now, once you solve, because this is basic algebra, you've solved for u. You need to go back and solve for sine of x. So see if you can take this the distance. You're solving for u, solve for u, and then see if you can take it farther. And that's a good question. Yeah, you can think of it that way. All right, guys, thumbs up if you got here and you solve for u. I mean, this is algebra, right? This is great. This is like you can do algebra, but we're not solving for u. We're solving for sine of x. So what we need to rewrite here is this, sine of x equals 3 over 2. And sine of x equals negative 1. You're using your u substitution going backwards. Now this is the fun part. We're thinking unit circle. Sine is x or y? Y. y. Where is your y value on the unit circle, 3 over 2? Not rad 3 over 2, 3 over 2. 3 over 2 as a decimal is what? 1.5. Where's 1.5 on the unit circle? It's not there because your unit circle has a radius of 1. one. Doesn't work. This one does work, though. Where is your y coordinate negative 1? Exactly. So where's your y coordinate negative 1? X equals, there's only one place where y is negative 1. It's right down here. 3 pi over 2. Now go back to the original problem. The original problem is, look at the domain. Is there a domain or is there not? 0 to 2 pi. So how many solutions do we have? 1. If I said for all values, what would you have to add to this? Awesome. Good work, guys. Okay. Um, what are your questions?